In this Lost Ark Gunlancer guide, I'm going to show you what it means to play as a Gunlancer in terms of how well they perform in combat, the best skills and tripods to focus on, and the playstyles available to them. If you're searching for a melee DPS build with the ability to taunt foes and utilize crowd control, then this Gunlancer guide is for you. Also, be sure to check out our other Lost Ark class guides, including Shadowhunter, Sorceress, Gunslinger, and Paladin. Gunlancers are one of the advanced classes that fall under the Warrior. They wield a gun lance and shield, which are not only used to deal damage up close, but also stun, stagger, and disable enemies. Gun lancers are one of the most difficult classes to master if you're not used to slow moving characters, or you've just come from playing as a scrapper or shadow hunter. As a gun lancer, you'll be able to deal high sustained or burst damage depending on the type of skills you concentrate on. Because of your massive HP and commendable armor rating, you survive longer in combat compared to more DPS focused classes such as the shadow hunter and death blade. However, your mobility is very low, and instead of dodging, you have the backstep ability, which propels you backward rather than rushing forward, so there's an adjustment period in the beginning. Like the Paladin, you initially don't have access to better skills, so it's a matter of knowing how to survive with the ones that are currently available at your disposal. The good thing about it, though, is you'll execute frontal attacks, which means that you no longer have to change directions to optimally deal damage. Gunlancers and Paladins both belong to the Warrior class, but oftentimes players ask which between the two are better in terms of the support role. Gun Lancers are definitely tankier, allowing them to withstand a huge amount of damage, all while dealing decent damage, plus they can taunt enemies. Comparatively, Paladins are support and DPS oriented that do a fine job of granting damage buffs. The key thing to remember is if there's no one to support the party, then the Paladin should fill in this role. But if you're looking for a class with the ability to counter incoming attacks and disrupt enemy formations, then the Gun Lancer is your guy. The Gun Lancer is a melee DPS class with the ability to interrupt enemies and disable them, which is the perfect time for the other damage dealing classes to swoop in for the kill. Although they're not as adept as the Paladin when it comes to granting party buffs, they are capable of mitigating damage, reducing the enemy's movement speed, as well as lowering their defenses to make them vulnerable. All advanced classes in Lost Ark have unique features or identities that differentiate them from other classes. These can either unleash more damage or enhance the buffs they grant. For the Gun Lancer, it's the Shield Identity, which is divided into two categories, namely the Defensive Stance and Battlefield Shield. Defensive Stance protects the Gun Lancer from taking damage and being interrupted because of a shield that encases you, allowing you to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against tougher enemies. The shield is then depleted after some time based on the amount of energy you've previously gathered. The drawback with this skill, however, is that your movement speed is hampered by 50%. Battlefield Shield, on the other hand, will benefit the entire team by allowing you to absorb the damage dealt against them while granting push immunity as long as they're quite near you. Rather than using your shield energy over time, this ability will instantaneously consume it when you jump to an area filled with enemies. Doing so will deal damage and knock them down while providing you with a temporary shield. Unlike the defensive stats, Battlefield Shield has a longer cooldown period of more than a minute. Note that when either of these skills is active, you won't be gaining energy, but when you return to your normal state, you can once again fill your shield meter by successfully hitting enemies. Similar to the Paladin's Piety meter, the energy you've gathered won't dissipate over time, so you can wait for the best moment to consume it. By the time your Gun Lancer reaches level 60, you'll have unlocked a total of 19 skills comprised of Lance, Normal, and Awakening skills. To add to this, you've invested several points into Lance and Normal skills to specialize further by unlocking their respective tripods. The tripod system allows players to customize their skills in various ways, like increasing the shield energy you gain or reducing incoming damage. In total, you only need 8 skills per character with a select number of tripods. In this section, I'll cover the essential Lance and Normal skills and tripods you should allocate points into, regardless of the playstyle you end up choosing. Lance Skills and Tripods Sharp Gun Lance Stabs multiple enemies while momentarily staggering them in the process. To make Sharp Gun Lancers stronger, you'll need the Giant Wheel, Wound, and Pummel Tripods. This combination changes the skill such that you'll now be attacking in a circular motion above your head to affect poor enemies. You'll also be able to inflict damage over time with Bleed, as well as an extra attack for boosted damage. Dash Upper Fire Thrust forward and shoot a shell right after to deal damage twice. Make sure that the gap between you and the enemy isn't too large, otherwise you might not strike them with your weapon, thereby wasting damage. The best dash upper fire tripods to consider are ready attack and weak point detection to enhance your attack power on the very first hit and to improve damage against push immune or stronger targets. With extra shell, you can fire another shell and harm them even more. Because of the gun lance's weight, you're pushed backwards after shooting with it, creating a nice space between you and your enemies. Charge Stinger. This allows you to rush towards your foes to shoot them with massive firepower. Although you can incrementally change your orientation while charging your weapon, I wouldn't recommend that you do. This is because of the minuscule movements you make, which increases the chance of missing your targets. And if you cast Charge Stinger without moving your gun lance, you always rush towards the direction of where your mouse is pointed at. The tripods that greatly improve this skill are Weak Point Detection, Charge Enhancement, and Last Charge. 
These allow you to deal considerable damage against push immune enemies and to boost your attack power and damage even more as a result of overcharging. Alternatively, if you'd rather stun or electrocute them for several seconds, then you can switch last charge for lightning charge. Surge Cannon collects massive amounts of energy which will then be used to deal explosive damage multiple times. Unlike the Charge Stinger ability, you can easily rotate your character to target enemies effectively. What makes Surge Cannon more effective are Piercing Shot, Overcharge, and Focus Fire. This combination lowers their defenses, overcharges your weapon to deal great damage, and bombards targets with several shots. Counter Gun Lance, a good defensive skill that helps block incoming damage because of the shield you gain. To make matters better, and upon successfully countering an attack, you'll be able to automatically shoot enemies in front of you. The technique is to activate Counter Gun Lance a second before they attack since you only have a very small time window. Making this skill stronger is Bombardment Spear, which rewards the counterattacks you perform with increased damage. The other tripods to obtain are Sturdy Armor and Weak Point Detection to reduce the damage you take while Counter Gun Lance is active and to inflict more harm against tougher enemies. Gun Lance Shot, a straightforward version of Dash Upper Fire that lets you thrust your weapon into a target and then shoots them immediately afterward. The Gun Lance Shot tripods you should take are similar to Counter Gun Lance, specifically Sturdy Armor and Weak Point Detection, but the third upgrade you'll want to take is Exploding Spear, which acts as a gap closer, allowing you to dart forward to cause explosive damage. Normal Gun Lancer Skills Shield Bash Swings your shield twice to deal damage and to effectively stagger enemies. The best Shield Bash tripods to take are Armor Destruction and Shield Enhancement to reduce the physical and magical defenses of your targets and to accumulate more shield energy upon successfully attacking them respectively. For the third upgrade, you can either pick additional hit for greater damage or blind shock to temporarily stun enemies. Guardian's Thunderbolt. This is an effective skill that you can start with in combat as it allows you to summon lightning to deal great damage while stunning nearby enemies. The best Guardian's Thunderbolt tripods to choose are Damage Luck, Wide Hit, and Electrocution. This combination allows you to conjure another Thunderbolt for added damage, widens the AoE, and lengthens the stun duration against targets. Shout of Hatred performs a massive war cry to not only deal damage but also to taunt enemies. What makes Shout of Hatred very effective are Ready Defense and Shield to reduce incoming damage and to temporarily boost HP. The third upgrade you should take is Open Weakness, which enhances everyone in the party's frontal and back attacks, together with the damage they deal. Additionally, the shield energy you gain is increased. The loss is Energy. Roars out in the open to mitigate the damage received by you and your allies. The best Nalasia's energy tripods to get are Quick Prep, Effectiveness, and Survive. This combination lowers the skill's cooldown period, further reduces the amount of incoming damage, and provides shields to momentarily increase everyone's HP. You can decide to equip either of the following skills if you chose the Combat Readiness Engraving or Playstyle to significantly improve your crowd control capabilities. Bash. Swings your shield to not only deal damage but also inflict stun. Similar to Shield Bash, you should obtain Armor Destruction to lower enemy defenses and shield enhancements to gain more shield energy. The last upgrade to focus on should be Echo, which lengthens the stun's duration. Shield Shock Strikes the ground with your gun lance to inflict some damage and to temporarily slow down enemy movement. The best Shield Shock tripods to pick are Quick Prep, Wide Hit, and Second Turbulence. This combination decreases the skill's cooldown rate, broadens its AoE, and enhances the damage you deal after attacking the target once more. In Lost Ark, every advanced class unlocks engravings that allow you to further specialize in your chosen class as these grant special effects which you can activate by reading recipe books and equipping accessories and ability stones. You're able to obtain them as random rewards by completing endgame activities such as Chaos and Abyss Dungeons and Guardian Raids. In this section, I'm going to talk about Lost Ark Gunlancer engravings which determine the playstyle you wish to adopt for your character and our class-specific abilities and traits. You gain access to this when you reach higher levels. The two class engravings available to the Gunlancer are Lone Knight and Combat Readiness. Let's first discuss the Lone Knight class engraving or playstyle together with the stats that go with it. Lone Knight is focused on maximizing burst damage with lance skills by boosting their corresponding crit rate and crit damage. However, you're not as durable, you won't have access to Battlefield Shield, and you'll consume shield energy much faster with defensive stance. To take advantage of the damage you'll deal, try to aim for Lone Knight level 3 in addition to slotting 5-6 to six lance skills. In terms of Lone Knight's combat stats, you want to prioritize crit followed by swiftness when gearing up. This setup significantly enhances crit rate while improving your attack and movement speed. It also decreases the cooldown period of your skills so you can activate them more frequently. Comparatively, combat readiness is for tank-oriented builds because of the crowd control abilities available to your disposal. As such, you're able to disable and stagger enemies more often while dealing decent damage, predominantly with normal skills. This also incentivizes the use of defensive stance, since your shield's effectiveness is enhanced and your damage gradually increases every time you get hit. For the combat readiness engraving, reaching level 3 should be your goal to considerably improve your shield and damage when defensive stance is active on top of slotting 5-6 to six normal skills. 
In terms of combat readiness's combat stats, you'll be focusing on specialization to gain shield energy faster while improving the shield you receive from Battlefield Shield. You can then invest in crit and swiftness to improve crit rate as well as overall mobility. Final tips. Playing as a Lost Ark Gunlancer won't be a walk in the park, especially at the beginning. But when you understand the synergies of his skills in terms of damage mitigation and improved durability together with the commendable damage he deals, this class becomes very fun to play. Gun Lancers excel at effectively controlling the battlefield by interrupting enemies while inflicting high damage up close. In PvP, they're difficult to go against due to their super armors, counters, and staggers in combination with damage combos. However, their low mobility makes them vulnerable to ranged DPS classes like the Gunslinger and Sharpshooter. Gun Lancers won't be able to activate both shield skills at the same time. Instead, you can switch from defensive stance to battlefield shield, but not the other way around since only the former ability can be toggled. Lastly, remember to activate defensive stance often, especially when you're about to use skills such as Charge Stinger and Surge Cannon to safely perform overcharging to deal greater damage. Stay tuned for more Lost Ark class guides, and be sure to check out our Lost Ark wiki or drop by our Twitch channel if you have questions about the game. What did you think of this Lost Ark Gunlancer class guide? What advanced class are you planning to try out first? Let us know in the comments below.